Hey everybody, my name is Ola Dimeji Ajikbile and you are listening to The Simple Creative. This is the podcast about turning simple ideas into creative ones. My guest today is Makiwa Ojo. He's a keynote speaker and a content developer and we discussed about the new social age and how to manage your online presence and not get addicted. Like most people are depressed just because they scroll through their phones and we don't know this because you know it's just necessity of life to scroll through and you know you see you might see someone you might see one of your friends yeah. in Dubai with pretty girls and champagne and what comes to your mind is oh I, need to do that. I, I also need to have this kind of lifestyle uh. meanwhile you don't know what's going on in the background you don't know what you don't know the amount of effort these people are putting in and it might not it's, it's it's just something that appeals to them it might not work for you if you're new to this podcast and you would want to know more about it kindly subscribe to get weekly content like this enjoy the podcast uh, i remember you recently did this on instagram and you cut down all your posts yeah. and um, all your followers even the ones you're following and everything from five thousand to two hundred <laughs> well, we'll get to that like much later. So, uh, can I just give the people like a very quick introduction about yourself, what you do, and basically like like a fifteen second speech, really. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm Maki Oju, and I'm a keynote speaker and content developer for brands and in- influencers. And what I do majorly is um, empower entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs who <clears throat> are ready. You know, I believe entrepreneurs are. We are people that create things and we are going to change the world. Right. We are people that take risks and go out there. So they need a sustain. So I, what I just do basically is give them sustained motivation to carry them on. I think I like that. I like that. But how did you come about this? Like, did you study anything related to that? Um, no, I did not. Well, I was always getting comments from people saying, um, I, I have my way with words and I know how to like, motivate people and get them to do things. <laughs> so. You motivate people. So. <laughs> uh, but that's interesting. Um, I think there's a world where, right now we live in a world where everything just seems forced. Like people just want to force the way they do things. Yeah. Like it's not natural. Mm-hmm. Like I remember when I started with YouTube, my very first video I was so rigid that mm-hmm. Me myself, when I watched it after I uploaded it, I was like, come yeah. on, this is not you. <laughs> like it's because you, you care so much about other people's opinions. Ah. Like you, you like you want everything to be perfect and you know you don't want to come out of your shell and just express yourself okay. so the best thing is just to like express yourself like just get be, be, be uncomfortable like learn how to be uncomfortable doing things i think that's hard for me to do because i'm this kind of person that wants everything to be oh strategic <laughs> <laughs> okay. like i think the moment you walked in you saw everywhere was like yeah. everything arranged and yeah. everything um I'm sometimes going back to that. <laughs> but sometimes I get scared of things going out of plan. Yes. But is this something you deal with? Like mm, I also deal with it a lot. Like that's why I've not even been creating enough. Like I just I, I told myself recently that you've not been doing enough. You've not been putting out much content okay. for people to discover you. And you know, it's just we are trying to make everything perfect. And what I just what keeps me going is that there's always something you would forget to add. Yeah, that's right. Even true. while editing, while you create, while you film, and while you post produce content, there yeah. are things you forget to say, there are things you forget to add. So just do it like, okay, I said create and edit later. Okay. She again. Ah, so it's not like like <laughs> there was a there was a particular video I was doing and okay. I actually taped the scripts to the you know to the tripod so that yeah. I could just look at it. Yeah. And I've, at the end of the recording, I discovered that I had made so many errors even while looking at the scripts. Yeah. I just felt let me just restart this thing. It's it not is my always first. it is always good to be unconscious. Uncon- like knowing like knowing there's no camera around, like okay. just speaking your truth and you know. I just let it flow. Yeah. Alright, so uh, at the moment, what are you onto right now? Um, I don't even know. <laughs> 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 how come? How come? Why, why, do, why don't you? Know? Um, the thing is, I've I've been doing a lot of detox, and that's why I even came about my Instagram account and everything. Oh, okay. I want to cut out a lot of things. Right. You know, when you are multi passionate, okay. you just want to do a lot of things. And that's where I find myself at the moment. Right. So I just want to cut out a lot of things and go do one thing. I think so. That one thing is actually motivating people. 
Right, like I love it. <laughs> I think uh, I personally, I earlier this year in January, yeah. um, I did this like very strange kind of detox for myself. Because yeah. I entered my wardrobe one day and I saw 15 pairs of socks yeah. that I haven't worn since 2015. Yeah. And I was like, why do I still keep these things? Like, I used to have like wardrobe full of packing shirts, like, like, like normal t shirts with tie and everything. Wow, do you still have them? I have to give some of them out. I need some. <laughs> some. Uh, you say you do, you do talk to yourself, so I don't think yeah, you did that. No. Uh, but uh, when do you like when do you subscribe? To, uh, do you subscribe to the idea of you know being living with less, mm. but still being able to create more from less? Mm. My my thought of, that was minimalism, right? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I don't like to call it minimalism. I just like to call it living simple. Living or being simple. simple. Being simple. Mm. I think. It's it's based on your passions and your desires. All right. Most people like ma- like most people are materialistic, and some are just some are good with the simple things, just like you said. But if you, you, you just do just do what's right for you. What's right for you? What's right for you? But in that way, you get to overthink. Like, how do you mean overthink? Like, I remember when I was doing that. I had to overthink if I get rid of these things. Mm. What if I need them later? Mm-hmm. Like I was like, if I get rid of these shoes, it is it is the amount you spent and the the amount of years you got you, you spent acquiring like, those things that, that holds you back. Mm-hmm. Like my dad is an is an electrical person, mm-hmm. and sometimes he will bring with them all these cables and all these things home, and I'll be like, what do you want to do with all these things? Like we do away with them, but we still keep it. Okay. For future, like things that, that are not useful. Eventually, <laughs> and you don't end up using we'll them. Use them. Ah, yeah. So <laughs> I think I think it is it is that um, like you feel entitled and yeah. you just want to keep those things because ah, you've invested a lot of money and years into this thing. Probably your grandfather gave it to you. You inherited the thing, so you don't want to let it go. You know, and those things are actually not useful. Just to do away with them, right? <laughs> you know, in a way, this has actually like bled into like our social life mm. for example i remember the, la- the last Wednesday we met and we spoke yeah. extensively we talked about uh, this new media yeah like there's a place where people you know tend to get caught up in everything really yeah. like there's no space for you to actually think yeah. at some point i felt like something was wrong with me because <laughs> i'll constantly just keep you know scrolling yeah, really, yeah, no, and yeah. at some point i started comparing myself yeah. like now i'll look at um I look at some people that are creating really good stuff. I'm like, yeah. These people are really doing well. Like, why can't I be at this level? Mm. But then at some point, I just slap myself back to senses. Like, come on. You are, as in, you are making your videos. You're comparing, you're comparing your, your own chapter 2 to someone else's chapter 13. Ah, makes sense. Yeah, that's so, it. So, I know you had a lot to say about that, that day. So, can mm. you just give us something really quick about um, know, the media? I think comparing yourself. Like most people are depressed just because they scroll through their phones, and we don't know this mm. because you know it's just necessity of life to scroll through. And you know, you see, you might see someone, you might see one of your friends okay. in Dubai with pretty girls and champagne, <laughs> and what comes to your mind is, oh, I, need to do that. I, I also need to have this kind of lifestyle. Uh. Meanwhile, you don't know what's going on in the background. You don't know what you don't know the amount of effort these people are putting in. And it might not, it's, it's, it's just something that appeals to them. It might not work for you. All right. And as, okay, I told, I told one of, one of my friends who is a rapper back in school, I told him, if, if you are not creating, if you are not creating content, if you are not singing, just because you think other people are ahead of, ahead of you. Like, if you look at all these big stars and all these rock stars, and you can't find motivation from there and you just instead you envy and you know you try to compare yourself you will never do anything mm-hmm. because these people are way ahead and we have people that oh they are done writing their first book they they, they, they have five endorsement deals they have all these partnerships and they have they have these big networks and just think to yourself oh what am i doing you know, don't stop comparing yourself to others. Just trust your own process and keep doing your own thing. I think that's what I have to say to that. I think that's very important. That's very yeah, important. Very important. But you know, there's a place where you probably look at people's things or people's works. Yes. To draw kind to kind of draw motivation. Yes. I remember that when I started the podcast, mm. there were a number of people I like I looked through. Mm. Like they did research on them. 
I actually, it, I literally it is, studied their life. It is good when you use it to learn All and right. to draw inspiration, okay. not envy or compare yourself. Because that comparison gets you to a point where you think you are not creative enough, you are not good enough, you are, you are not doing anything, and you you try something one weekend and you just change, like it's not working. Let me, let me do something else. So ah. it's about consistency. <laughs>